Um, hi, Robert. Hi. Hi, are you okay? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to look at you here. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna look at the camera. Yeah, even though you're there, even though. How have you been? Yeah, you know what? Absolutely fine. Sorry, I'm just trying to find some cotton pads, some cotton discs. Here we go. (laughs) I'm unlike my fates. Cotton. (laughs) I'm unlike my final box before, like I start using all reusable. Oh, I've got my reusable. What ones do you have? Because I struggle to find... I'll send you the link on Amazon because I had some before. I can't remember the name of it. I had some before and they were so, um... What's the word? Flimsy. Like you would pour a product on them and it would just run off the edges. Whereas these are a little bit firmer. Yeah. That's Um, what I find some of them seem to be waterproof almost for some reason. (laughs) Yeah. Water resistant. Yeah. And the water just slips off or your product just slips off it. It's true. So, Robert, I've had a shower. This is why my hair's wet. And I always do my skincare before I do my hair because I feel like there's so much rubbing going on with skincare that you mess up your hair a little bit. Okay. But your hair's done. My hair's done because I like to do hair before my face. Hey. And listen, I, I, just for everyone watching it, if you don't know me, I'm not that great at skincare. I can, I can prep my skin for makeup. <laughs> but when it comes to, like skincare I'm a little bit like um I'll just put on whatever James tells me to yeah so I do my hair before my face because then I feel like if yeah. I do my face nice and clean and then I use hairspray it might get on my face oh uh, yeah that's yeah I just kind of do this hide and then spray it all <laughs> you can get those things, can't you? You hold it to your face yeah I'm are really we showing pro- them are we showing products that we use? yeah show your products what are you gonna yeah. do first so I'm using, I'm toning first, so I've cleansed already. Mm-hmm. And I'm using the Collagen Boosting Skin Gel. Uh, I don't even know a brand, Hibut- Hibutan? Yeah, I can't for the life of me remember what that brand is. I've ne- I don't think I've really heard of it before. No, I hadn't <laughs> for, for a while. I'm gonna tone as well, and I'm gonna use the Claire's um, Daily Skin Hydrating Water. This is literally, it's just like a few humectants and water. Um, centella, which is quite soothing. Um, it's just basically to like rehydrate my skin before I start adding the rest of my products on. Because I usually sure. do go straight into skincare out the shower. Yeah. Oh my god, Robert, I painted my nails thinking it would look really cool. What do you mean? I painted what them mean? black. Like a few black. Just like... <laughs> A devil horn one. Um, Why? Because <laughs> I saw loads of guys doing it. It looks really cool on them. Yeah, but there's a certain kind of guy that can pull it off. Well, this is the thing. I you know what I'm white, and I got good. such feminine hands that it's just like <laughs> yeah. I feel really I've cool. got some. Um, I was saving them for Halloween to do like a look. Um, mm. I got like those nail transfers where it's like a temporary tattoo, but for your nail. I've been trying to find those, and all I could find was ones on AliExpress, and I couldn't find very good mm. ones. Yes style. Yes style. Yes. I've been looking yes. for like, you know, like the usual like eye and triangle and all that kind of shit. I think I have some of them. Yeah. I want some of them. I'm done toning. I, I kind of have this thing at the moment where I told you before I, I keep breaking out and I have no idea why and I'm trying to yeah. figure out what's making my skin break out. Yeah. So I'm at the moment, um, I'm trying not to touch my face. <laughs> yes, that that's much. really hard, so, though, isn't it? It's so so difficult. Even even skincare. So luckily, uh, we spoke about this on our podcast. But Sigma sent me the um, skincare brushes. Oh, they did. What um, the skincare? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I I used them all last night, and I haven't cleaned them this morning. So I only have my eye care one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I've already broken not trying to use yeah. my. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but well, I'm just I only mentioned that because I'm going in, I'm doing makeup straight after this. I'm gonna do like a, while I have all my lights and everything set up. Um so usually I use this rapid eye um firming wrinkle smoother around my eyes just Ooh. because I like the texture and it's kind mm. of like an instant plump. Um sorry, it's not an instant plump. But before makeup, I use a Glossier Bubble Wrap, which is eye and lip plumping cream, because yes. I like the texture it makes around the eyes ready for makeup. It's not too thick. It oh. doesn't leave a layer. It doesn't, like, leave um, anything. It's quickly absorbed, and it doesn't interfere with my makeup, so that's why I use this one. Lovely. Beautiful. So you've done tone, and you're going straight into eye cream now? Yes. Cool. Okay, and then I'm I, gonna... I'll use, like, yeah. a serum after. 
and you're using your eye brush. Yeah, beautifully. <laughs> I'm going to go into an essence. Um, my skin is a little bit irritated at the moment. Um, at the moment, it, it kind of always is, just because when yeah. I chop and change products. <laughs> but I'm breaking out a fair bit at the moment. So the Artemisa, Artemisa essence from Misha um, is really, really nice and soothing. Um, the me, mist in particular this. adds like a nice kind of like... Um, light <laughs> hydration and um, yeah. moisture levels as well. I don't know what I'm saying because mm. I'm trying to talk to you at the same time. Um, so I just, <laughs> it's nice and light. Lovely. Let's probably mist that over. It's got the tiniest waft of like farm though. Mm, fresh. Yeah, fresh really farm. F- fresh horse <laughs> poo. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of something to talk about while we're doing I'm meant to be like interviewing you and talking about it. So listen, here's mm. this is a really strange worry I have today. Go on then. Just a, just a little sneak peek into my personal life. Oh, do um, I know about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm viewing a house today. Oh, you are down the road, closer. Yeah, closer to you, first of all. Closer to um, me. Closer to you for, for business reasons. But yes. <laughs> also, I was looking at pictures of his house, and yeah. I'm really concerned. So it's it's um, what's it called when it's not attached to a house? Semi semi detached because you're attached to one person, right? right? So it's so it's like a new build, and they're townhouses, so they're three levels, right. and then there's two townhouses next to each other, then like a gap, and then two townhouses. Mm. And I was looking at the pictures, and this is such an an unnecessary concern. Well, it is necessary for me because it's it's my life. Right. I was looking at the pictures, and down the side of a house. Yeah. Each house has its parking space. Yeah, yeah. Down the side of a house, there are three cars, one behind each other. I can't parallel park. <laughs> oh, you can't parallel park at for all. shit. <laughs> I, can, I can barely park. Yeah. So I was looking at it, and I feel like if it's, if that's my parking space in between two cars, yeah. it might have to be a deal breaker. <laughs> Unless I can find another parking space. Surely you'll just have to get good at it. Are you sure that's your parking space and it's not just somebody who owns free cars? Oh, you know what? That's a good point. It could be. What is that, my nice? It could be that, because I doubt they'll make you all parallel park to get into your own house. Oh, it's a bit of fluff. Think? Oh my god, I thought I had a massive blackhead. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, it's a bit of fluff also. I thought it was um, a really quick, okay. I'm going to go in with vitamin C serum, 22% from Naturium. Um, it's a good vitamin C, it's encapsulated, so it's less irritating, works a little bit slower. Works just as good though. I just take the tiniest blob of that vitamin C. Um, this is the only vi- um, vitamin C serum that's, oh, dog hair, that's actually got me using a vitamin C every day. Oh, yeah. I, can't, I, think I just can't stand a smell of vitamin C. It's because you've not found a nice one. That's true, yes. You know? Um, just for people who are vigilant, I was just using an eye cream around my nose. <laughs> um, that being because I'm, I'm really dehydrated around here and eye cream yeah. um, can work really well in those areas where you're slightly dehydrated as a, as a step before makeup, um, just to help the texture. Yeah, I mean, it's just a moisturizer in a small packaging, isn't it, really, right, eye cream? exactly. If we're but being I find real. I find there's something about on oilier skins I feel like an eye cream, because I feel like they're not made as heavy as face cream sometimes, especially if it's like mm. a gel or like whatever. So the te- I prefer the texture of this um, to a moisturizer, yeah. usually, because it's absorbed quicker. James, I'm going to go in with this, and then what is it? I'm just going to throw it away after I'm <gasps> No, done. you're not. It's That's the... <laughs> limited edition. <laughs> it's a Mela 14 white ampoule. Yes, ampoule. From Cosrx. Yeah. Ampoule. Ampoule. Um, and I've learned not to put it on the back of my hand because every yeah. time I do it, you take the mickey out of me. Yeah, because so. it's so weird. It's like, why yeah. why would you put product on one part of your body then transfer it to another? <laughs> well, I guess I'm, I'm about to do that. But <laughs> People change. People can change. They do change. This is a, the beauty of Jesson. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the Calming Serum Green Tea and Panthenol. Um, again, skin's a little bit on the irritated side so green tea panthenol are both really really good for irritated skin soothing and calming i'm just going to take the dropper and do that again tiny amounts of this is there anything james that you've found during this like um world climate <laughs> without yes, saying current it. climate <laughs> is there anything that's kind of 
changed in terms of your skincare? Like, is there something you can't get hold of at the moment? Or is there, like, are you having not, trubs? No, not really, because I first of all kind of, like, started ordering less skincare during this, because I know, obviously, people ordering are still wanting to work and stuff, and, like, delivery people are still wanting of to course. work. But, you yeah. know, you don't want to push them to the limits of making unnecessary purchases when it's hard yeah. enough as it is to like deliver yeah, crap in exactly. today's climate as you say <laughs> but no not really I, I guess getting stuff from Korea has been a little bit difficult um, yeah that's to what I saw the other day actually mm. um, was a load of complaints on this brand's Twitter page I can't remember who it was people complaining that um, they weren't getting next day delivery on some of their products stop and it's like do they know what's going on at the moment like do they know what's happening in the Have world. they tried to order from Amazon Prime recently? I know. Like, if they can't do it, who can do it? It's yeah. really ridiculous. How about you? James. Have you found anything, like, anything of your usuals that you can't get your hand on anymore? Not my usuals, but something I really want to try, um, and everyone keeps asking me to try, and I really, really want to try it, Colourpop, the brand Colourpop. Oh, yeah. I placed an order with them ages ago, mm. and I I didn't read the, the website properly, and they were mm. like, we're still, like, running whatever. Actually, no, they weren't. Opposite. They, the factories weren't open, and I didn't read yeah. it properly, and it was like, you can still make orders, but they won't process until then. And I was like, where's my Colourpop order, like, four weeks later? And then yeah. I actually read their website, like people should be doing. Yeah. Um, and they were really good about it. They're like, it's fine, we can refund you. And I was like, okay, perfect. Um, yeah. But I ordered a whole face and I was really ready to do it. And I just, every time I keep seeing adverts from them, I'm like, I just I just want it. I know, <laughs> I feel like you've wanted it for a really long time. Yeah. You've been able to use their products for a long time. Oh, well. I don't know. Sometimes that's life. Yeah. What are you going to use now? Oh. Oh my God. Stop. Yeah. Twins. Twins. Okay. So this is a watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer from Glow Recipe. Mm-hmm. And the, the reason. Yeah, it was the reason. <laughs> I like this one is because especially before I'm doing my makeup. Actually, this is my moisturizer I use during the day, and then I use like a a thicker one with more um, benefits at night. Is that right. the right thing to do? Yeah, absolutely. Not that yeah. this doesn't have benefits, but for me, it's the texture with this. I'm going to pour it in the back of my hand just so people can see the texture. Sure. It's like a fluid. So, oh, yeah. It's a lot more water based. So it's nice I'm, and light, it's hydrating. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, for me, it's it's not um, over hydrating. So, it doesn't leave a layer on my skin. So, my makeup's going to sit properly. Yeah. It's just hydrating enough. Yeah. Um, it smells amazing as well. That's the same, the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle a Moisture mm. Cream. It's um, moisturizing enough, but it's very, very hydrating and nice and light. Um, I have this real thing, like I hate, I always tell people this and it's such a um, exact situation to be in, but I hate when people eat bananas in a lift. <laughs> <laughs> or like on a train. In like an enclosed but, area. But that depends on how new the banana is. This is great conversation. <laughs> yeah, it has to be a brand new banana. Mm. Literally like from a cold shop. But my, my point was shop. that this doesn't smell like that. So when they sent me this, I put off using it for the longest time. Cause I was like, I don't like, I don't want the smell of banana staying on my skin. But it's so oh, lightly it's, fragrant. It's not so like you that just at don't all. Smell it once it hits your skin. Yeah, yeah, absolutely not. It's it smells like um, it's not artificial banana smell. Like it's not like sweet, like a fake banana. Yeah, it's but not like it's those not like bananas. Right, and it's but it's also not like mm. um, like banoffee. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too yeah. too natural. Yeah. Um, Robert. Yeah. You know when, because obviously we're twins, people was like, what's your best memory together? What's the worst memory you have of us? Oh my god, um, there's so many. Um, I know, there's too many to choose from. God, I don't know, actually. Do you remember when we had that big fight about the internet we dug our fingernails into each other? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do! I do! <laughs> we have scars left for ages because of that. Can you imagine? I need... So here's the deal. For for our younger watchers <laughs> out there, yeah. there was oh, a... God, yeah. I had to explain this to somebody once and I felt like crying because I was like, why am I ancient? Um, yeah. The internet back in the day, when we first got the internet, you had to plug a cable into your phone line so it wasn't always yeah. attached you plugged it in when you needed it otherwise you couldn't use yeah. your phone your home phone because you mobile phone, phones yeah. weren't around yet anyway well they were yeah. but they weren't like a household everyone didn't have one you would yeah. plug it in and then it would dial up and then 
say like for example you'd be like mum can I go on the internet she'd be like yeah but only for half an hour because I need to call someone I need to call, call your nan yeah, yeah exactly um, at this time so we would have to share it we didn't have phones with the internet on having more nope. than one computer wasn't really like a household thing as well at that time no. um, oh, God. so when <laughs> James was That's taking old. too much time on the internet um, I can't even remember I, why. Like I we think used to take it in shifts, and I knew it was my my time was up. You know. Yeah, yeah. You are clearly too deep into Habbo Hotel. Yeah. And then I can't remember what happened. We just got really angry, didn't we? Yeah. I think I pushed. Yeah. I pushed your chair into the computer. I think so. And then we just started digging. <laughs> but <laughs> I've just used the Kush. Um, lip balm from Milk Makeup. It's just a nice lip balm, um, mm-hmm. nicely um, moisturising. Mm-hmm. I forgot to put these eye patches on, but I'm going to put them, them on because I do look really tired. And I How have you found Skype your... Sorry, today. I really interrupted. Yeah, this is going to be fun for you to well. edit me talking over you. How have you yeah, been well finding done. your Chanel ones? Is that what you're putting on now? No, these are the Milk Makeup ones. Have you the found Chanel the Chanel ones? are fine. They're fine, but they're not, not worth, worth the price. Pounds. Absolutely. I think no. that's so dumb. I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just going to check this message. So basically, I, um, well, I just moisturize, but um, usually I would put these on before moisturizing. But I mean, really, for me, it's just the cooling feeling of these that kind of like. I I would like to bit. have I know you, you like people aren't super into mini fridges but I would like mm. to have one and keep like some eye patches in there because I just think it'll be like a nice feeling and maybe like a, Do a roller yeah. <laughs> you know or something like, like it's that. not oh shit me it's not like a bad thing to have a mini fridge it's just I think a lot of the I've actually got a video about this tomorrow um oh no this will be up by then but um the the n- the the main reason I think mini fridges are popular is because first of all they look really cute, which is very they dumb. do. But yeah. I think people think there's a benefit to having cold cosmetics, and there's not. Like I said, like cosmetics aren't made to be put in a fridge. Like they're not being um, formulated with them thinking, oh, but bearing in mind this is going to go in a fridge. Do and also I mean? as well, <laughs> the, the the packaging is temperature controlled. It's made to be a certain. Yeah. There's a diff- there's a reason why some products are in glass and plastic sometimes. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. Just quickly as well, I use um, Rapid Brow Eyebrow Enhancing Serum. Oh, beautiful. And you know what? It makes a really good brow gel. <laughs> it like really, oh, really? Ha- yeah, it really hardens and doesn't move. Yeah. It's great. I sleep, I pop this on before bed and I wake up my eyebrows look exactly the same. <laughs> mm. Robert, so tell us about your first makeup interview. Cause I don't think you've told this story. You told it on your channel before. Yeah. You've not told it on this channel before. <laughs> and I just want to set a bit of a, a background. Like Robert went straight into basically a makeup interview for Mac without any experience <laughs> and a fake portfolio. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so I, I told a story on my channel and oh my God, it's really bad. So, it's so bad. this is, I was 18 years old, or was I 17? You're probably 17, because it was I was college. 17, yeah, because I had my 18th birthday when I worked for Mac. And um, yeah. so I had I had very minimal work ex- um, makeup experience, if actually none. <laughs> Your makeup experience was practicing on me with a cheap palette. Yes, and on mum as well. And on mum. And oh. um, so I went to this interview. I didn't know what Mac was. I didn't know it as a brand. I didn't know anything because where we grew up, there wasn't a Mac. There was, we had Clinique, mm. Clarins, and Benefit, and Estee Lauder. And that's it. So yeah. I didn't know what Mac was. I had a phone interview and I printed out. Um, all the um, information about Mac and I had it printed out and stuck around it was all on my bed so I could just read off them as I had my phone interview so I passed Mm. that and then I got an actual interview and this was um, for Selfridges and Oxford Street in London I went there um, for, for my interview and I took my friend who was a model sorry she wasn't a model she was my model for the interview because you have to take like a makeup model with you and um, <laughs> at the time there was this collection out and it was, I can't, I can't it was like nautical something. And it was, um, there was a palette and it was blue, white, brown, and yellow. And um, 
Actually, mum bought me that palette before, so I could practice with it before my interview. So yeah, I could see like the textures. Like, was and it a Mac like one? It was a Mac one, yeah. Oh, and um, yeah. so I had in my mind I was going to do this white going into blue with like a red lip, like a classic kind of like um, nautical theme. Um, not that I knew what right. that was back then, anyway. And yeah. um, so I, I went to my interview and first of all, I had all these amazing, incredible brushes in front of me because back then Mac brushes were like the only great brushes apart from Bobby Brown oh, and things yeah. like that. But Makeup Mac was wasn't like, what it is nowadays. Absolutely then, not. So. There weren't all these independent brands of, of products. So it, Mac was brushes were seen as like the brand, the authority on makeup, the authority on, on, you know, everything, on fashion even. And I had all these amazing brushes in front of me and I went to the person interviewing me. I said, oh, do you have one of those triangle sponges I could have? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> to do the foundation, so I did. Um, I had one of them and then I um, did this eye makeup and I basically put like blue halfway across the lid in a really solid color and then white halfway across the lid. So it was half black, half white, no blending. Didn't even know what blending was. Didn't even know blending was an option. Didn't even know what a blending brush was. Um, yeah. And then I did like mascara. I was like, oh my God, this actually looks really, really good. Obviously it didn't, but. Yeah. And then I had a, um, they give you like certain things you have to do. So we're like, do an eyeliner, do a winged liquid liner and then do lip liner because then it shows right. like a bit of precision and a bit of whatever. So I did um, a bit of black liner, obviously that went terribly. And I I was practicing lip liner before and I couldn't do it. So I really, really didn't want to do it. So I thought, let me run out of time. Then I just won't do it. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> so then the trainer comes over to me who was interviewing me and was like, um, I just used um, sunscreen, by the way, and now I'm going to go in with some primer. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I'm using uh, Thank You Pharma Sunscreen Essence. It's nice and light. I've over-applied it because I'm like that, and I'm just <laughs> uh, spreading on evenly with like a little puff thing. Um, so she comes over, and I ran out of time. She was like, do you want a little bit more time to do the um, lip liner? And I was like, oh, oh yeah, God. okay. So I couldn't <laughs> do lip liner. It looked absolutely terrible. So I said to my model, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get for some reason I thought, I didn't think of like, you know, covering it with lipstick. I thought, let me cover this lip liner with a gloss. So I got like this, um, it was a very, if you know MAC products, there's a lip gloss called Lip Glass and it's this really thick, heavy, um, full color, like kind of lip gloss. And um, I was like, let me just build this up. Let me build it, build it, build it. Um, to a point where you can't see the lip liner anymore. So <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever you do, don't speak because this lip gloss is dripping in her, in her mouth. And when you put on too much <laughs> lip gloss, it, it kind of like sinks down here, gets all caught here, gets all caught under here. It goes all springy, <laughs> doesn't it? Like, it mm, yeah. yeah. So I was like, just don't speak, don't speak, whatever happens when she comes over. And she was like, right, that looks great. Obviously it didn't, she was being nice. Um, yeah. Oh shit. Sorry. Um, and I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then she goes to my model, what do you think? I was like, shit. <laughs> so my model opens her mouth very slightly and she's like, the lip gloss is so tacky. She's like, yeah, I think it looks great. And then, <laughs> like her mouth nearly shut. But as she did it, all these strings were hanging down and like when she spoke like, you know, it was like like um, floating outwards lip and flapping yeah. around and I was like, <laughs> It was the worst thing ever. And like on the way, on the train, oh, on the way back God. home, I kept looking at her eye makeup. I remember being so proud and looking at her eye makeup and thinking like, oh my God, I did that. That was me. Oh. Um, awful. And I got the job anyway because I was a nice person. Yeah. And then they trained you up really well. Yeah. And then I trained with them. And then since yeah. that, since that, since then, I've been doing makeup. Yeah. Um. So I, sorry, I just use that puff because it helps like get into my hair and helps like kind of like flatten it down in the beard and along the hairline and stuff, which is usually where I forget. I'm gonna go in with like a thicker sunscreen. I thought I was allergic to this sunscreen like a month ago. Which one is it? Not, the Claire's one. So oh. it's a really good one. Um, and I use this on my neck. I'm not really sure why, <laughs> to be honest with you. I feel like it, it, it's nicer to have um, 
something thicker in a neck, it feels like it's doing something more. <laughs> yeah, it does, you know. But, like, I use a fair bit because it has to go all down my neck, all in my hairline, down there. You just go behind the ears. Okay, I'm going to do that off camera because I've got these earbuds in and it's not, not working. So, Robert, what's your goal for the next year? <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be a professional interviewer. Where do you go? Uh, I dropped um, a palette. So, my goal for the next year, just so everyone knows, I use the Pat McGrath Labs Skin and Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. Incredible. Um, my goal for the next year is to just have a nice time. Right, okay, you're going to get nowhere in life. <laughs> <laughs> if, that's, if that's your goal, just have a nice time. <laughs> no, I don't know. Do you have goals for the next year? No, and do you know what? I, I was speaking about this with someone the other day, that I've never planned my life, and yeah. it's been fun. Well, I did. I think I planned it too much, or tried to plan it too much. Yeah. And I feel like that's when everything goes to shit. Yeah, because because you're like, you're counting on doing something and reaching a certain point in your life at a certain time, and then what if you yeah. don't? Then you're disappointed. If you're like, you oh no, you my failed. failure plan. Yeah. yeah. You failed in a goal that you've given yourself that you don't have to achieve in a certain, a certain right. amount of time. Right. That no one's expecting you to achieve, or. <laughs> <laughs> But then it's good to give yourself short-term, immediate goals. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, absolutely. By the end of today, I need to have this video edited. Of course, yeah. I think it's the thing is taking one day at a time, one week at a time, one month at a time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think planning your whole life ahead is kind of insane. Like, people are like, I need to have babies by this time, or I need to do this oh, by this time. And of course, there are some life circumstances where, yeah, you should plan, you need to plan. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But majority, relax, relax. Yeah, I think like you put so much pressure on yourself if you plan too heavily ahead in life. Um, put so much pressure on yourself with these goals and you, you're trying to work to these Im imaginary um, achievements, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like that, that you put so much pressure on yourself and sometimes I feel like the more relaxed you are about things, the more things just get done and you enjoy things. Exactly. And, um, I, d I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Basically, I was saying as well that um, everything that's happened in my life has just kind of accidentally fallen into. Mm -hmm. um, and even if you do plan your life, like, let's talk, like, after college, I planned where I was going to go to university, what I was going to study, what I was going to do after, what would happen when I moved to London, and nothing went to plan. Oh, nothing absolutely went to plan. Not. not. because I wasn't on my way to do it, but because other things came into the picture exactly. that you don't expect and don't plan for. Exactly. I think that's part of the fun of life. And here's the thing as well, like, uh, if you listen to our podcast, we've spoken about, like, our career history and things we've done within our career, but it's little things yeah. like you moved to London to do, like, a photography kind of thing, but instead you yeah. ended up working for ASOS, which led to you making your own YouTube channel, which led to you now yeah. having this career, you know? So... Yeah, and each thing was a chance encounter with someone exactly. that led to something completely different exactly. that I didn't expect, so you just don't know what's going to happen, so to plan your life so rigorously... Yeah. I mean, have an outline, I guess, yeah. but, like... There's, no there's like, little plans, like, okay, I want to achieve this many subscribers on YouTube by this time. And then there's, like, um, full-on pressure. I want a, a, my career by this time. I want a house by this time. I want my, you know, yeah. whatever by this time. Yeah. This is where I need to be by this exactly. age. Exactly. I think that's, that's a bit... Like, who's expecting you to be well, there apart from yourself? And maybe you have some pushy yeah. parents. But, <laughs> you know. Especially in today's climate. Especially in today's climate. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, yeah, that's it. I finish with sunscreen and then I do my hair after, basically. Okay. I'm going to mist for no reason because people do that. Oh, do it. What, what one are you using? Oh, I'm going to use the Glow Recipe Watermelon oh, Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Yeah, lab. lab. I just really like Glow Recipe at the moment. I'm, I'm really liking, I've been like exploring their textures and things like that. And I really, mm. really, really like them. I think they're really good. I was just it's Instagram. too hard to be doing this. It right is now. too hot. It's way too it's hot. It's English summer. <laughs> my laptop. You know what? Loud. I'm just gonna put on lip balm. Mm. So I'm using the Glow Recipe mm. Lip Pop Lip Balm. Yes. Yeah. Which we love. Um, 
And I'm going to have to explain this because I posted on my Instagram that we like this because it tastes like American watermelon and people <laughs> didn't know what we meant. <laughs> but we don't have synthetic flavours like watermelon. You said what? Green apple? Green apple. Um, green apple. Blue, blue flavour. Whatever flavour flavor that yeah. is. Is it raspberry? Huh? Is it raspberry, the blue flavour? Maybe. I, got, I actually don't flavor. know. Yeah, airhead blue flavour. But it's it's so nice. Like, it reminds us, me, of when we used to, like, live in America when we were younger. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. um, but I, w- I was going to show you this lip balm brand that I'm obsessed with. They're called Lip Cest, and it's just, like, an Etsy brand. I swear, it's made by, like, this girl that lives in America, and um, she's, you know, she just makes these. <laughs> and their their flavours are, like, interesting. Like, there's licorice bites. Um, gummy worms is one of my favourite. This tastes like a packet of... Haribo, like, do you know what I mean? Like, that nice. smell of, yeah. like, gelatin and yeah. tastes exactly like it. They also have homemade pizza, which sounds gross, but it's just shea butter, coconut butter, um, sweet almond oil, and it has, like, this really weird food taste to it, but it tastes really, really good. Not taste, but the smell is really, really good. Wait, so when you say food, is it exactly like pizza? Yeah, yeah. It, well, mm, it tastes like... Um, like the multi-purpose spicing, like um, like English herbs. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. It's it sounds awful, but it's it really sounds really nice. Terrible. It sounds terrible, but I really like it. Right. Are you done? Yeah. I was just um, priming my eyelids for. Um, I used priming. a Sigma primer. I used it before, and everyone's like, "Why are you using concealer on your eyelids?" I was like, "Do you really think I would use concealer on my eyelids?" <laughs> After all we've been um, through. Well, after oh, everyone's been <laughs> Well, thank you for joining me. James, thank you for having me. Yeah, you were my test run on other people that I'm going to talk to. So I think I need to prepare some interview questions. You need to prepare, in, prepare interview questions. You need to... Um... I just spent the whole video <laughs> asking if you were done. Yeah. Are you finished yet? Are you done? <laughs> yeah, like, why are you making me do I'm this? here for my I interview. Okay, are you done? <laughs> are you finished? <laughs> No, I knew I know too much about you to ask you questions and care. Yeah, um, absolutely. But well, I'm gonna go. Okay. Well, have a best well, day. Thank you. Let me know about the house later. Send pictures. I will. Wait, no, I don't cool. think I'm allowed to. It's it's very. Um, we got given like a set of instructions. Like I can't touch. I think I need to get my hands in my pockets because I don't have gloves. Um, oh God. Yeah, okay. we can't touch anything. We can't do anything. So. Oh wow! I see what happens. All right, All right yeah. then. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining me. Oh, Thank you for having me. <laughs> said already. Well, have a best day, everyone. Yeah. yeah you too, everyone. Okay. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>